Okay guys, so I'm here with another training video. Um, we are going to work on the app Word Swag. Um, I don't know if this is available on Android phones, but I have an iPhone, so we're going to use that. Uh, it should be similar if it is available on Android. So Word Swag, um, I don't know if you can see it, but it's the blue light blue button, so we're going to click on Word Swag. All right. So this is what it looks like when you open. You have the option to take a picture or choose a picture you already have. Um, the camera obviously is to take a picture and then the little pol Polaroids are if you already have a picture. So we're going to use a picture we already have. Now, uh, Wordsway gives you all these beautiful backgrounds that you can choose from. And I use these backgrounds when I recreate my quotes because I like to brand quotes to my own um, preference and how I like my fonts and everything. So um, if you want to use your own picture, you would click the camera roll button up in the corner and then you have access to all your pictures that you already have. We're just going to use a basic background that they offer because they are beautiful. So if you're not using these backgrounds, then where have you been? <laughs> Let's see. So I really love these flower backgrounds. Okay, so now we can edit the text. All you have to do is double tap the text uh, that they already give you, and it'll bring you to the text screen. They have already set um, different quotes and fun little texts in these little categories. And you can just shuffle through. So I'm shuffling through the classics here. And sometimes when I recreate quotes, I literally just choose quotes that they already have preset in the app. Um, because it makes my life so much easier. Um, we want to work smarter, not harder. And that's just the easiest way to do it. Um, but if you want to add your own text, you can choose custom. And I just hit the little X to get rid of whatever text is there. And then you can type in whatever you want your quote or picture to say. So um, let's just say stay beautiful. And whenever I do my quotes, I brand it to myself. So there's a little says who um, option, and that is uh, like your signature. So when you sign a letter, you write your name at the bottom of the letter. This is kind of like that um, in the app. So you're writing your name. And I always put my Instagram handle on there. And then I always hashtag my own name. This is just personal preference, but when people share my stuff, I want my name on there. And then when you're satisfied with your text, you just hit save and close. And your text is a, will appear. Now, you have all these different options for different texts that they preset. One of my favorite is this Summer Soiree, and my text is white right now, so you can't see it. So we're just going to choose um, gold. I love gold. So now we're going to make the text bigger. So obviously the text that I chose doesn't really fit in this picture very well. So um, you can go down, you see the numbers down at the bottom, one, two, three, four, five, and then the dice. Now that's just like to shuffle through. Um, you can change the text by clicking those numbers. So within the type of text that you chose, there's different presets that they have for how the font will appear. Some of them only have a few, so like if we chose this square, this is square number nine, you can just shuffle through and it will change the type of style that that text has.
So I'm just trying to find one that I like for this picture. Let's try stripes maybe. And the, the beautiful thing about this app is there's so many options that you have. Um, you can totally style it to the way that you like. I like my um, quotes and um, things like this to be really clean. Um, I don't really go too crazy with it. So I like the way that this looks. I'm just going to keep it like that. Now all you have to do is click the done button up in the upper right hand corner and it'll save for you. The cool thing about this app is you can upload straight to Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, Pinterest. You can text it or email. But you also have this option to add a logo or a watermark. So if you click on that, um, you can choose what type of watermark you're going to put. Um, we'll just say an image. So now it's going to go into my camera roll. And trust me, I got tons of pictures on here. I am a makeup girl, so that's, <laughs> I'm always taking selfies. Um, let's see. So let's just put my Beauty with Beer logo on there. And there we go. You can add this logo. Now you don't have to add this logo. Like if I put it down in the corner. And you can change the um, transparency of how bright you want your logo to appear. Um, but that looks fine with for me. And then to save it, you just hit the little check mark up in the right hand corner. If you don't like how it looks, you can just hit the X button and move on. So there we go, it's saved. Excuse, I have dogs. <laughs> so there we go, it saved my picture and it's all complete. If you have any questions, please let me know. I would love to answer them for you.